Hello everybody, and welcome back to... Uh oh. <laughs> My mouse has been hijacked so I can't switch over. Uh, welcome back to Heaven's Vault. My name is Dizzy, and we are about maybe halfway through a new game plus, I'm guessing at this point. Uh, yes, yeah, so story so far. We were looking for this guy, Ramba. He's dead. Uh, we were then sent out to look for the thing that he was looking for, which is the vault. We learned some interesting stuff about our robot companion, Six, last time, which is that Six apparently used to be Renba's robot. Now, given that our mentor and professor, Mayari, ostensibly didn't know that Remba was dead. I didn't even know where Remba was. The fact that she has since produced, apparently, Remba's body at his funeral and Remba's robot to give to me feels mighty suspicious. Uh, but at the end of last time, we were unable to sort of confront her about any of the things that we found. She sent us out in search of the Withering Palace, which we found. Didn't complete because we haven't been able to bring our friend back there. Uh, but yeah, she didn't seem that fussed. Uh, we have a Shaskor in the chat. Welcome, Shaskor. How's it going? I just need to actually get my, uh, my chat display up properly such that I can <laughs> see all your pretty faces, or at least pretty words. Seekajor, oh no. Uh, let's get going. So the basic plan for this stream is to head to the uh, the Emperor's Garden or whatever it's called in Ghost's Wake. Because that's like the next logical step from the Withering Palace. The Withering Palace is where spooky ghost robots are made. And the garden is where they get like stored. Uh, last time, let's click time to move on. Last time when we were there, we didn't learn very much, particularly. So I'm hoping that this time around, we will learn significantly more. Uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, the sight from the mural, is what it's called. Let's have a look at Elbereth. Should I be able to help uncover the secrets of the Withering Palace? Hmm. See, that sort of suggests that I can do the Withering Palace stuff with her, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, maybe we'll head there after we've been here. For now, let's go. Oxian space, sailing to the site from the mural. <laughs> we don't always have good names for this. Uh, and we have a Yi in chat. Welcome, Yi. How's it going? Look who it is. Yep, I know, right? Look what the cat dragged in. Another dizzy stream of the words game, which is what I'm calling it. I honestly feel like, it, obviously it would need a lot more to it, but you could have made like an entire game just out of this like river navigating system. Like it's so pretty and the music and stuff helps. Like I could spend ages just doing this, honestly. Oh, I saw a wreck out there. Oh, well. We gotta go to that then, haven't we? So the wrecks and ruins are always useful because they give us items and words. And items narrow down locations and words help us understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> I found a scimitar. Most likely came from somewhere nearby. The middle of the blade has been decorated with characters. Fantastic. Shaskor says, dreadful news, out of the two D&D games I'm part of, neither is having a game this week. 
you'll just wither away. You will! That's terrible news. Uh, I actually had a week like that last week when uh, one of the co-players in the game I was player in was deathly ill with uh, both COVID and a separate throat infection. And then the game that I DM for, uh, various people were like moving house and doing other things. So we're not available. What am I looking at here? Huh. Uh, me. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this one, actually. I think this is Bringer. Person who brings. But, uh, it might not let us have this, so I'm not sure. Uh, Shaskor says, The worst part is that both are already on the buy slash try weekly schedule, so I've already gone a week without a game. Oh, that is terrible! Oh no. Right, we're just cutting down some words that, that aren't right. Okay, is is wrong here, is it? That sort of surprises me. Is is usually a fairly... Uh, a fairly easy one to place. There we go. Right, I'm assuming this is going to be... Hmm. What have we got here? It's a verb, for sure. Hid, respect, needed, or call? I suppose call? Being like a corruption of is? Like, it's not what I am, but it's what I am, like, known as. Chescore says, It was fun discussing ideas with my DM yesterday. That's always nice. Oh, yes, this is your, your massive amount of lore, isn't it? People call me Giver of Death. It's a good inscription for a scimitar. <laughs> you don't really need an inscription to know what a sword is for. Fantastic. Okay, so this is from the place we're going to. Mistress, there's another. Shepherd away some distance on the right. Is not the one we were navigating for. Is there? Whereabouts? Like up here somewhere? Huh. It hasn't been added to my map, unfortunately. We might have to loop around again to try and find that. A site appears to date from the Age of Sail. Dented silver sculpture of a bird. With an inscription. Okay. Uh, my least favourite kind of inscription, the this is a bit of stuff. Because that always makes it difficult to know exactly where to begin. Uh, but hope is a very comforting one. Or maybe this is hoping? Action of hope? Uh, hmm. Oh, this is your. Okie doke. She says, yeah, tell him about all my thoughts behind my character's backstory. The big halfling family is where she's from. The thorn grapes, silver strings, galbassi, glutton bellies, and wit bottoms. <laughs> oh, sleep. Wait, what? Action hope is sleep. How does that work? 
Hmm. I'm not convinced, but okay. Gape, not grape. Oh, thorn gapes, okay. <laughs> to be honest, either is a perfectly acceptable hobbity type name. Uh, I don't like this. I think I'm... There we go. Sail... Hmm. Safe? I think safe in your sleep. That's really sweet. Comes from the Age of Sail site. Uh, oh yes, so we are ostensibly going here still, but I want to loop round and do this one again because they said there was a a ruin somewhere, possibly. Uh, Sheska says Thorny Gapes, referencing their symbol being that of a crowned displacer beast. Ooh, that's a fun bit of heraldry. Although I can't necessarily take heraldry super duper seriously because I've read too much Terry Pratchett. Uh, I should go right ahead, mistress. Yes, I should. You're correct, sex. And then we have couple of wiggles, and then we've got this section which we just want to kind of hang left on for the whole thing. Go left, left, and then left again once we get there, so that we can loop around. Uh, Shesko says, that's from the family my character is from, he's a path of the beast barbarian, Wonders why she grows cat features when she gets angry. <laughs> I see. Okay, left, left, left again. One left. This is a nice bit of river, actually. I'm quite enjoying the sailing so far. Oh, goodies. Give me goodies. What have we got? A shipwreck. There's a wreck from the Ioxian Empire. Found a copper scimitar with a serrated edged blade. There's a lot of weapons from this place, my gosh! Uh, we have a Caffle. Welcome, Caffle. How's it going? Why are there so many weapons from this place? That's concerning. Right. This. Sword. Cannot be lowered. Interesting. Cheska says, was there a war? Um, there were... There have been uprisings and, and overthrowings. I don't know of any, like, actual war in the history of this place, per se. But the, the details of how various empires were overthrown and fell hasn't been made... Well, I just want the next left to loop back up around that. Hasn't been made, like, explicit. Either of the branches ahead, you say. Okay. Left. And then we're going to upset him by going left again. There we go, there's that room that he was talking about. A shame we have to do like a whole nother loop around to get it, but there we go. A ruin! Dates from the Empire, okay. So Garden Age. Cracked amulet. Made from crystal? Must have belonged to a child. And it is inscriptionless. Oh, and 
We've got a fairly fast flow, which is nice for covering long distances. Oh, another one! Oh, it really is our lucky day today. So we're from the Holy Empire Mistress. I'll investigate. Heavily scratched silver wind chime, embossed with an image of a circle. And glyphs. A wind chime? That's fun. I wonder what it says on the wind chime. Uh, we've got an and. This is gonna be like, close your eyes and listen, maybe? I think this is gonna be, close your eyes and listen, there we go, marvellous. Uh, let's be in mind about, I think, an Enya song. I do love a bit of Enya. Camera, can we... Can we centre on the boat, please? There we go. We need to turn left momentarily. Sure, and now we're just going to go down the bit that we've already been down. But uh, that's fine. And past a lot of ruins that we've already been past. But again, it's fine. Uh, what I might do is make a different route when we get to this bit, because there might be more ruins located somewhere in these sort of wiggling ways. Right turn here. And then let's take this right turn as well to go sort of through the middle. That'll likely give us the best chance of seeing any ruins. Uh, oh, and there's a weird squiggly bit here. I wonder what that is. Oh, we just do like a 180. Oh my god, okay, interesting. <laughs> that bit of river is a little bit a little bit wonky. Was this twenty six pro wave rider? <laughs> Okie dokie six. We're in new territory now, having gone, I think, actually the correct way. Oh, we haven't actually gone the correct way yet, but we're about to imminently go the correct way. And we're officially in Ghost's Wake. And we have a Boom Boom! Welcome Boom Boom! How's it going? Do -do -do -do. Oh, we're on slow waters. That's fine. But the mural site should be around here somewhere. Right. So, we can't possibly miss this ruin. 
that's just on our way. And then ideally, when we get to here, we want to head out again to pick up this one. Go through again, head out again to pick up this one. That's the dream. Because then we get as many of the things as we possibly can. Uh, Boom Boom says, going good. Can confirm the phone was retrieved. Oh yes, so, so Boom Boom was having an interesting saga yesterday of finding a, a missing or possibly stolen phone. Which is very exciting. Uh, Kev says, I looked into it. I think once you're at the new location, keep up the regular conversation with Six. The idea of bringing Ori to the Whispering Palace should come up. Well, it's interesting because it's now showing up in the description for Elbereth when I click on Elbereth, even though we haven't had any conversation. I don't know if that means I can actually go there now. Uh, where are we going? Doesn't matter. It's fine. Kev says, so I'm confident we aren't locked out of it yet. Maybe it happened already. Ruin? Yeah, okay, we know about the ruin. Uh, so maybe it happened already? Perhaps. It's. It, I might have missed it happening, you know. Do the new location anyway. Well, we're here now. Alright, ruin number one. Approach. Ruin here appears to date from the Axian Empire. Cover the shredded book bound in leather. There's some writing on the cover. Who shreds a book? Animals. We... Hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> uh... Gods above? Hmm. Hang on. Yes, thank you, Six. I'm working on it. Okay, it's not R. Oh, I don't like all these other words that have R in the middle or is in the middle. I don't like that at all. So this says, action is home. Belong? Yes, we belong with gods above. Okay. Uh, a holy book? Or maybe the ancients believed the gods sailed the rivers? Interesting. Perhaps people sailed the rivers and gods live somewhere else above that. Rivers over rivers. Where the hell am I going? I basically just need to take two left turns. This comes from the place we're after. We must be near. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh, we're in the slowest moving water that you ever did see. Do do do. Do do do. Left turn number one, and then we can maybe very slowly paddle our way over to left turn number two. Ooh, 
Ooh, see, it's telling us now not to go that way. But that's fine, because I know better than you. Oh, there's another room in here, that's nice. We'll grab that one as well. It's a shame that I can't set this as, like, a, 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 a destination. I'd like a little bit more control over where it's pointing me to. I no longer have a search zone. That's fine, because we found some other goodies. Six. This wreck appears to date from the Empire. Should only take a few moments. Fragment from a dagger with a cruel looking blade. So many weapons! Jesus Christ, what's with this garden? It's like the weapons factory of the Empire, even though there's nothing there apart from some dead people. Oh no. Grateful? That's such a long word. <laughs> Where the hell does that fit? Does that fit? Or is it a mislead? There we go, okay. Something was grateful. You... Excuse me? Oh, that's... that's I. It's grateful. I do not... Love. No. I do not cut... Your... Uh... Uh... Okay, maybe this is be grateful? There we go. Be grateful, I do not cut your... Throat? Throat! Brackets! Shoulder! Uh, excuse me, ancients. Have you grasped what, what shape human beings are? Uh, I'm not really sure from these symbols. It, it like throat is the obvious one, but I'm not seeing anything here that says it couldn't be ear or head. Just who said the ancient ones were humans? To our knowledge, the only species that exist are humans and then like robots in terms of sapiens, and I don't think robots have throats or ears or heads. Okay, we're gonna go with throat, as that's the sensible translation. Maybe they were dinosaurs. <laughs> of law people plant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which bit of me is my people plant? Oh, I can now plot a course to these ones specifically. That's nice. We're on the right track. Yes, we are, Aliana. Yes, we are. Fesco says maybe they were amorphous blobs. I mean, if they were amorphous blobs, then it wouldn't make sense that they're threatening to cut their throats slash heads slash ears. Mistress, there's a piece of debris. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't particularly fancy going all the way around myself. So six, can you, uh... No, six refuses to, uh, to take over. Okay, there we go. Six, take us to this ruin. Good job, six. We're here, mistress. The side appears to date from the Holy Empire. I'll investigate. I covered a metal flute decorated with a bird design. This is the second bird thing we found as well, actually. Oh my god, an actual full... full sentence for once. Songbird sings... Song... Song? Not song. Songbird sings something else. Of truth. Uh. Hmm, hang on.
And it says Bop Tune on the end. Hmm. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's a long one. I think it must say Songbird. And then we've got a really long one. So we've got Truth in the middle here. I guess Beautiful? Oh yeah, this is like... Like good, but but even shinier. <laughs> I don't think it's Circuit somehow. Sunbird sings beautiful song. That's uh, that's why they call me a songbird. Where the hell are we going from here? Oh my god, all the way around the houses. I know I do like the sailing, but I maybe don't like the sailing quite that much. It comes to the same place as the blade fragment in the shredded book. So makes the moon depicted in the wall mural easier to locate. There is a new river to the left. Oh, there is a new river to the left as well. Okay, never mind, Six, I'm not passing control over to you. I'm keeping it myself. And we're going exploring, because we don't get to do that very often nowadays. There's not many places on the map. Or well, there's not many places that aren't on the map. Okay, really, game? You wanted me to go right around that rock and left around the other rock, did you? Hang on. No, 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 no. I want the, I want the ruin. Yeah, I know I missed a turning. You'll have to deal with it. Oh my god, this one's halfway through another rock. Steel Empire ruin. Hefty brass oil burner. A description on the glass, no less. A full one. A phrase run together. So we've got sleep. Uh, I met this word as well. Safely. My child, perhaps? New person, child. Perfect. <laughs> Sleep safely, my little new person. Right, where are we going? Well, that's actually like a branch in the river there. You can barely see it, but there it is. Alright. This comes from the same source as the knife and the figurine. Okay. This just says another room some distance away on the left. Oh, well. I can't really say no. I think we're going around some kind of crazy loop. My god, look at that! <laughs> That's ridiculous! <laughs> Kevl says, my god, you want everyone in the galaxy, do you? Maybe? Maybe just a little bit? I like the words! I find the translation bit to be the most fun bit of the gameplay. This one is broken from an even longer phrase. Like, everything else is just sort of getting me from one set of words to the next set of words. We are children of God? Because says that's how I also want as many senses as possible. Mm. I mean, that's this is how you said that like I was doing kind of okay for how much I was able to translate of the big book of telling you the plot the first time around. This is why, it's because I'm a hoarder and a, you know, a this, that and the other. Uh, Rembrandt's dig site. Oh yeah, we, can, we, we haven't actually finished off the Rembrandt's dig site, have we? We sort of found that he had a tent there, we got hijacked by a lady, and then <laughs> we haven't finished the place. I'll explore the river to the right. Oh. You can't give me two unexplored rivers. That's not fair. Uh, we'll take the unexplored river to the left, I think. Rather than looping past the Steel Empire site that might get us stuck. Of 
Because it's not like we're not exploring going this way. Ooh. I love the bits of river that are in, like, tunnels. And things like that. I don't know why. This is very exciting to me. Oh, there's slow river on the right. Interesting. Slow river normally means a place. But I don't think there is a place there. Especially in Eagle's Pass now. Okay. Sure. I wonder why Eagle's Pass is called Eagle's Pass. Hmm. Because most of the other. Hello, 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 hello. What's all this then? Most of the other places are named after. What is this? There's a ruin here? Oh. <laughs> There's like a little bit of the, the model clipped out of the rock. Whoops. Battered goddess of water model fashioned from copper. That's exciting. Her arm has been carved with glyphs. Um, yeah, most of the places are named after the moons that you investigate when you get there. Like, Ghost Wake is named after the fact that there's a whole bunch of spooky ghosts in the garden. With the withering ways, or whatever it's called, are named after the fact there's a withering palace there. Uh, what have we got? Divine... Uh, this is gonna be like Breath or something. Action Wind. Uh... Hmm. Uh... Uh? Where, where, where have I gone wrong here? Let's try Goddess. There we go. Goddess. Blow. Sailcloths. Wide. I like wide. Adjective of being open. Wide. Yeah. We still on track? Yes, we're still on track. This comes from the same place as the shell necklace. The one we found on the hideout moon. Should help us work out where to look for it. Take the next left momentarily, mistress. You got it, six. Da -da -da. As opposed to taking the next left, but like in a while understand. Let's just could you just uh could you just dilly dally for a couple hours and then take the next left. Oop, well we're back in the slow bit. Oh I hate the slow bit. Is the slow bit the green bits of river I wonder? Hmm, maybe. Nah, because not all of this can be slow. That would be nightmarish. Right. Paddle. Paddle. We're, we're going entirely on Six's arm strength here. Oh, remark. Hello. Didn't think the ship could move through clothes this week. I can't even see the flow, to be honest with you. Does that cover built the nightingale knew what they were doing? That's a good point, because of course, if the nightingale is from Age of Sail... If the nightingale is from Age of Sail, then why has it been built to handle weak flows? Because surely in the Age of Sail, you know, however many, however many thousands of years ago, 
the the flows weren't weak. Because that's one of the things we sort of decided at the end of our first run through the game. Was that, uh... There's a new river to the right. Do you want me to take the new river? Okay, yes. Yeah, we, we sort of decided that the weakening of the rivers was like a gradual entropy process. Just another... We're in some distance away straight ahead. It's not the one we're navigating for. Okay, I think that's already been marked on my map 6, but thanks. There should be one like right around this corner somewhere? There we go. Kevl says, the flows might have gotten weaker in general. I assume such small side piles and smaller dripping branches have always existed. Like with real rivers. Oh, well, maybe. ANOTHER SWORD! Oh my gosh! What were they doing? <laughs> this one has several words. Oh, it's full. I love a full inscription. Right. Uh, I don't know what this thing is at the start, for one thing. We've got an AND, and an ACCEPT, which is an interesting combination. Blood? Okay, that's a dot that joins this, so this AND isn't a real AND, it's part of this word. Never something again, except in blood. Uh... <laughs> Kevl says, Mayari, I think the fall is coming, led by a single crazed person holding 16 swords. Oh, glorious. Uh, one? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't think I've got this right, but I'm not super certain where I've got this wrong. Okay, maybe this is a does not? Uh, okay. We might just have to shove things in until it kicks us out. Mistress, I do not think you have enough information to read this. Oh, big sad. One, do never do again except in blood. Huang will be able to help me. Oh! Wow, Huang, you're super useful sometimes, it turns out. Who would have guessed? Uh, yeah, I'm not going through all that on my own, thanks. This comes from the same source as the flute and the blade fragment. A lot of information on the moon depicted in the Empress Wall mural. It's good to be back on the real river again. Can I give control to six, please? Please, I'm desperate. I really don't want to go through this whole place on my own. It's a massive pain. Nope, okay, I don't have that choice. Just gotta grin and bear it. Diddly do. Well, I can question sex. What's wrong with the river here? Counts in this region are unusually weak. Those here are losing their integrity. Soon they'll be selling out. Perhaps that is how the ruin was lost. Makes sense. Our route goes left up ahead, mistress. Oh, and then the music just cuts out awkwardly. Hmm. 
Oh, now I can pass control to six. Blimey. Useless robot. <laughs> Okie doke. Last ruin, and then we're going to the actual place. I guess it dates from the Empire Mistress. It should only take a few moments. I found a necklace made of gold. Most likely came from somewhere nearby. Whoever made this didn't add an inscription. Our boat's having a little panic. Okay. Uh, we're back within our search zone, mistress. I'm about to hit the slow bit. Right. So we need to go turn right and then turn right and then we can't miss it. I suppose one of the things I might do, because we get inscriptions like that one where we we don't have enough data for them, one of the things I might do off stream is just go into a. Uh, hang on a sec. Can I see my inscriptions from here? Inscriptions. Just go into solvable inscriptions and just sit and click through all however many of these there are. Probably like a few dozen. Just get those like off and, and out of the way. And then when I come back, all of the ones that are solvable will be the ones like the one that we just had that I couldn't solve at the time that can solve now. There's something up ahead. Let's bring her into land six. Okay, we're finally here at the spooky ghost garden. We like the spooky ghost garden. The sight from the mural. Last Emperor had drawn a map for this place, but why? Oh, oh. Of all the sites I travel to with the robot. This was the prettiest? Most of them seemed lost. Abandoned. But this one, this one felt like it had been hidden. What I want to know is who who lit up all of those lanterns? Not far, mistress. The path turns here. Do do tracks down a lush moon. It's like we're expected. Be unlikely, mistress. There's only one living person on this moon, mistress. You. So who did light the lanterns then? Who <laughs> says lantern goblets? Okay, sure. Trees, lots of trees, growing from fissures in the rock. The roots will eventually split the slope below us. This whole site will subside. God, this is a depressing game sometimes. They usually work in caves. Okay, I'll add that to my D&D game, sure, why not? Someone's written on this tree! Katie snogged Timothy behind the bushes. Here. 12th December... 1916, or something. Uh... Dead? Will deceive you? Uh... Well, that's... Hmm. That's not promising, considering I came here hoping that I was going to learn lots of stuff. If the dead are actually going to lie to me. Uh... What do the dead lie about? Nothing, mistress. Thank you, Six. The dead merely lie about. Oh my god, Six. That's terrible! I didn't know you were able to... to... <laughs> I didn't know you were able to...
not able to do pun six. Oh my gosh, robot. <laughs> There's something here. A palace, the architecture is clearly Empire period. Nearly 500 years old. We've seen it's like before. Unbelievable. <laughs> there was a six cover in there just to make that joke. Well, I mean, we don't know who carved it in here. And if if six actually is like an old emperor who got mind wiped, then maybe he did. I say mind wiped. An old emperor who got put into a robot and then mind wiped. Uh, oh, that's a thing. Give me the thing. Something worked into the stone. Beneath the ivy. Oh, it's a full one. Although a very long and complicated full one. Right. In. The garden. I'm worried that we've got the word fight here. I've just realised that what I'm reading as garden is place no fight. Hmm. So maybe it's not garden? In garden, we find garden. That seems unlikely. Peace. In peace we find peace? <laughs> Mine? None of these seem quite right for place no fight. But I guess peace is what we're going with. Sounds pleasant. Oh god, that's loud as we get up there, blimey. God says peace is a place of no fight. I guess I'm quibbling whether peace is a place. But uh I can sort of see it. The ancients never had their foresight to leave the gates unlocked. Look through. Perhaps it was a garden once. Some kind of peaceful retreat. Set with a horned statue, an ancient goddess guarding her space. Some kind of devotional garden, then. Yeah, it's the old... the old emperors and their... sneaky worship of the gods again. How do people get in? It may function like the gate on Elbereth. There may be a passphrase or some other mechanism. There must be a way through. Of course, mistress. There is a hopper eye inside the courtyard. If I may... Oh, uh, well... I literally didn't have any choice. Bing! Win. Flowers flooded the misty air. Kevin says weird, but water rushing is never this loud. It is really loud at the moment. Let's see if I can uh, maybe turn it down a little bit. Boopity-doo. Some kind of temple to the horned goddess. Why did the last emperor draw a map to here? The emperor is dying with no way to be burned. No way to be reborn. And like all those before him, the last emperor faced true death. I mean, if he was that upset by it, 
He could have burned himself, I guess. Same fate will eventually overtake this place, mistress. Perhaps we could finish our explorations before that happens. Oh look, there's the eye that we used. That's the Emperor family, the actual Emperor. Maintaining this place must have required considerable effort. See, now that the water's gone, it seems really quiet. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a bit of a middle ground. Smell. Terrible time to decide, discover that you have hay fever. A perfume garden, apparently. This whole place is incredible. It's perfect. Nearly 500 years old. Is that obvious, Six? Locked. We can break it down. Let's not be baited. This one's definitely stuck. The tree has demolished the corridor beyond. The tree is a creature like any other mistress. Actually, it's not, but okay. Slow, but ultimately self-interested. I didn't think a moon like this could be so lush. Stomayazi. There are no farms, no villages, just rock and water. Lots of those are it chooses, there's no grand designer work. Well, hmm, interesting, Six. You sure about that? Are you super duper sure about that? I don't think I am! Uh, ba -ba -da. Okay. This is the gate we came through. Did this gate ever open? There are no hinges. Oh, well, this is a, a helpful camera angle. <laughs> ah, what have I found? A sextant! Conveniently hidden behind this enormous leaf in front of the camera. There's an inscription. Oh my god, we even have separate words here. This is the best. Wind. Uh, hmm. I like Moldos. As. Potter. Molds. Cup? Boom says, Gate stuck. We live here with Sitch the rest of our lives. If we hop it in, we can hop her out again, I think. Although, I'm not. Still not really sure how, how hoppers actually work. Oh, really, Alia? Can you not climb over this tiny little block? Boom says, There are worse fates as pretty here. True, honestly. Like. If we were to live out the rest of the nebula anywhere, I can think of plenty of worse places. That's just when I see an artifact. I position soldier point using my radiation markers. I am at a loss to understand how you do it. Oh, don't be rude to the robot, Ali! Oh my god! It's lots of little things. Composition of the material. Different minerals prevail in different parts of the nebula. Also, the workmanship, carving techniques, brush strokes. It seems like fingerprints if you know what you're looking at. The materials move around, surely. Yeah. Only when people carry them. Tracing the movements of things is another way of tracing the movements of people. In the end, the things aren't really that important. See, she actually can do archaeology sometimes. But only sometimes. She seems sad. I don't see any inscriptions to tell us. Well, they'd be under all of that mess, wouldn't they? She's weeping and beckoning. I suppose anyone who came here would have known who she was. The site was built during the Empire. That she was covered in ancient times, like the one on Erzy. Perhaps the garden was built around the goddess. Hmm. 
I was just gonna say you guys didn't like my horns either. Oh no, oh Pat. Um I wonder if she's like a goddess of, of death or of mourning. And this is the bridge that we have to jump across, I think. This is the bridge we saw from below. Oh we didn't see it from, see it from below because uh <laughs> I didn't go around that way this time. Whoops. Let's not go across. Is there another way across the water? Perhaps we have not yet thoroughly explored. I'm sure it'll be fine. This bridge has been here a long time. I cannot compensate for optimism. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll cross that bridge in a bit. We'll we'll examine the rest of the place first, not like we did last time. Something on the ivy here. It's the bird eagle thingy motif. That one, the eagle and sun. There's another inscription on the edge. This one is not quite as fun. This one's broken piece from even longer phrase. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, that's definitely not the f the word for has not. Um, I don't know when I first translated that. Then it says we'll cross that bridge when we get back to it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, army needs. Army demands your has not. <laughs> Surrender? Action of not fight? Surrender. Army demands your surrender. Hmm. So this is a very military place for a garden. What the hell's going on here? I think this is the first thing we, we investigated in this room. So we'll move on to the next room. Keep an eye out for things to click on. A very lovely uh, bridge here. Jessica says perhaps it was a place to negotiate treaties, a neutral meeting ground. Perhaps. But it seems very not neutral, given that it's like a big imperial palace, and it's also a graveyard for old emperors. Hmm. So as with the mirror we saw at the site of the Withering Palace. It's probably the same asset. Well, it's all worn away, I can't get anything from it. Six. What do you think? There really was a lot of writing here once, mistress. A whole chronicle, perhaps. I believe some characters can still be seen. Ooh, thank you, Six. This one's a fractured fragment from an even longer phrase. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of options. Jesus Christ. Uh. Right, I think this is strength. I think this is thing strong. Strength of empire at the end here. And then we've got was. Kel says was heart and soul of empire. Oh, you've you've got you've got that already, have you blimey, you're a lot quicker than me. Uh do do what have we got here? Not sure about soul. I'm trying to figure out what we've got at the start. We've got an all maybe. But I'm not, I don't like all one as being two separate words. 
Really? Okay. Knowledge of something was heart and soul of empire. Hmm. No, okay. I'm gonna put in strong. No, it doesn't like, doesn't kick me out if I put in strong. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna put in thing all one. There we go. <laughs> if I put thing all one in, then it. Oh no! Okay, we've got thing all and then one. Eternal, I guess. Knowledge of Eternal One was heart and strength of empire. Is this some kind of empire site? Yeah, we knew that. Knowledge of the Eternal One. So does that mean the knowledge from, like, the robots and stuff? Or does that mean... Does that mean, like, the knowledge of the seventh god who's sort of having a kip in the vault at the moment? That eternal one. Which eternal one are we talking about? This is pretty, it has butterflies, and it has a goodie. Piece from a hefty book. Almost empty, except, except some algebraic. Algebraic glyphs. It's inscribed with Pilgrim's knowledge. Why do the pilgrims need algebraic uh, algebraic glyphs? <clears throat> it's a bit of a stretch from one word there. Comes from the same source, the scrap of paper in the map. Site of the ancient library of the loop, easy to locate. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, what have we got here? We can get through here. Oop. <laughs> it says Blair Maths Pilgrims. <laughs> Oh, hello! Is that a tree sticking out of the roof? It's amazing this place is still standing. That is a tree sticking out of the roof, you're right! Okay. Looks like a jungle in there. Very warm and moist environment. Oh, can I sneak around? Mistress, you walk straight past the door? <laughs> <laughs> to do this last time because I jumped over the bridge instead. <laughs> okay, I got spiked. I'm not going back that way if I can help it. Gotcha. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, uh, excuse me? Can you not hijack me? The air inside, inside the glass, glass house was damp. It, it smelled, smelled like, like fruit, fruit and warm water. water. See, I didn't try the door because I know it's jammed because I, I, I was here in the first place. Um, okay, was there anything else actually out here? I didn't really sort of get a... Oh! Hello! Just, uh... Teleports me. Mistress, I'm most relieved to be within reach of you once more. Try the door. Right, it's jammed. Stuck, stuck. Because last time I, I didn't go through here. Okay, so I've now I've now got thorns in my backside three times. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was out in this little bit of garden, you know. Got to stop doing that. Apparently. Oh well. Okay. Back inside. 
the greenhouse. It's even bigger close up. Reminds me of the Tree of Knowledge on Iox. I wonder if it's the same species. Do do do. The air is warm. That's kind of what greenhouses are for. Hang on a sec. I'll go pick that up in just a sec. I want to go find six. Hi, six. I'm coming to open the door for you. Stand back. Out. See, this time we managed to explore this place without making Six unhappy by jumping over the, the, the dangerous bridge of death. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I see you're still undamaged, Mistress. Well, I took a little bit of health damage from opening the door, actually, but it's fine. He'll be plenty unhappy soon enough. Oh, yeah, he will. That's that's what the plan is. Oh no. Oh god, I'd forgotten about that. It does feel like this place is being maintained. With the lanterns and this. It does feel like there ought to be someone else here. Even if it's just a robot. Shesko says, wait, what plan? Um, Hang on a sec. I'll wait for six to say, this parts must have once been assembled. Someone's prized collection? Symbol over many years. Maybe. Um Yeah, so so the Withering Palace. We've uh we've now got the suggestion on, on our description of Elbrath that maybe we can take Oroi uh to, to help uncover the secrets of the Withering Palace, maybe. Uh I'm not really sure. We haven't really probably had the dialogue to trigger it yet, but we might be able to, to do it anyway. I'm not really sure. Uh, but what I think that's going to entail is basically the, the, the hopper eye has the memory of the last person to get put into a robot still inside it. And so we're going to sort of put that in six. Hopefully um, not permanently. Oh, I was just thinking about the upcoming bridge. Oh, well, we don't need to go back over the bridge now, do we? Oh, yeah, the other bridge. Oh, I forgot that bridge. Can I can I get the thing, please? Game? Game? I, I can see it's there. All these colourful flapping things. They appear to be everywhere, but only inside this chamber. They're butterflies. How do you not know what a butterfly is? You know what Iolite is? Can I, can I please have the goodies? There we go. Something small among the leaves. A fragment of a chart of a moon. So something from the early stages of the nebula. Some writing along a river. Okay. So from here, this then leads us to somewhere else. Uh. Da, 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 da. Sailcloths. Fill. And we will go. Sailcloths fill and we will go. Hmm. I wonder what moon that's pointing us towards. I guess this comes from the same side as the piece of paper we found here before. The log leads on the side of the library of the loop. Okay. Right. That's where we came in. What else is around here? Six, use your sniffer dog senses to find me lots of stuff, please. I think not everything in the light in the greenhouse. Here's another way across the water. 
Is this bridge in better state than the last one? Despite the obvious. I believe the tree is holding the stones together, mistress. Oh, fantastic, you six. Uh, I have a thing that I can point to up there. Shrines. These shrines. We saw one just the same on the last Empress Hideout and the Cyclones. Shrine on the last Empress Hideout and the Cyclones, maybe it came from this moon. That would fit with my analyses. But why? Uh, Cheska says, what a kind of tree. It is a kind of tree. I'm also not really sure what tree he's talking about. Like, it's covered in vines, but uh, I can't really see a tree holding it together. We've seen this design before. Remarkably like the sundial on Iox. So the sundial must be an Empire period artifact. So is this sundial a copy of the one on Iox? Quite the opposite. I believe this sundial to be significantly older. Okay. Furthermore, this one was not made on Iox. So where was this sundial made? Okay, he'll think about it. Triangulated the Age of Sail site just now. So was the Iox one based on this? A copy? It's quite possible. Only this one appears as though it might work. Yeah, but the Sundial was really interesting. Didn't know what it was they were copying. Didn't know how it was supposed to work. That's almost funny. Too much has been lost. Yeah. Jessica says, it's an invisible kind of tree. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder what the Sundials mean. Because we, we saw this, and there's one... Isn't there one something like this... On the the market moon as well. So what the hell are these things? I still don't feel like I'm getting close to having any answers. Wish is no, this is gonna be sleep again. Sleep now. For. First, days, you work, okay, uh, she just says, well, if you had answers, you wouldn't be playing anymore, good point. Sleep now, for tomorrow you work, I reckon. First day tomorrow. Huh. That's... a concerning message. A little bit dystopian. Given that we know what's, what's going on in this garden. Hmm. Alright. Let's just please. Sorry, you, you missed just pleased a little too late there. I cannot expect me to cross that. I will plop into the water and sink. Oh, I crossed it already. It's perfectly safe. I know you have lost robots before. Five of them? I don't intend to increase your score. Look! The others were just unlucky. Particularly for. Oh, Alia! Please! You're attempting to distract me. It will not work. Come on, Six. Just cross the bridge. I want to get on with exploring. Good advice, I will hop on myself to the boat if I so much as teeter, and I do not guarantee I will return. <laughs> Look, see, it was fine. I'm glad you made it. Oh, don't! Alia, please! For the love of God! Cross, stop being mean to the robot off of your bingo cards at home. Uh, Kev says, the sundials are kind of weird here. We find one inside the building at the end. My intuition is that it isn't a sundial at all. It has a different use. 
on the eagle. Six and six, six. Totally very obviously a sundial that works. Uh, you said four was unlucky. How exactly? It was short and rather sharp. Oh, I don't mind it. But you might. Okay. We've got two gates. That's the open gate. So let's go look at the not open gate. Locked or stuck? Like every bloody door we come across. Ooh, a waterfall. Hello. Enough water for Elbreath to be times over. There's only a way to transport water. Oh, oh, Alia, sweet summer child Alia, you have no idea. No big pardon. This moon is a mountain. There's nowhere for anything to grow. I know, it isn't fair. Do, do, do. Okay, garden. Stone markers huddled together, whispering nasty things about me. Shrines, like the one behind the hermit on Moon near Maezi. What do you mean, whispering nasty things about you, Alia? Have you gone paranoid? Now is not a good time for that, because they are actually going to talk to you soon. So many of these markers, marking what? This might have once been inscribed, been worn smooth. I can leave that way. Jessica says buckets into the room groovily. <laughs> <laughs> this one's in better condition. Still legibly carved. And it says. I'm sort of vaguely surprised they don't just have like names or something on them, to be honest. But, uh. Here. Yeah. Rest. Great person. Oh, we're finally going to get person. Although this is going to be now super annoying. Because now every time we have like a, a run on phrase, we're going to get this symbol popping up as another answer that we don't want. <laughs> oh dear. Here rests great woman. Ooh, perhaps if I translate some more. I have to fill it in every time. Oh my god, what a disaster. Something inside the niche at the front. A heavy book. Dating from ancient times. It's almost rotten. There's a painted message along the spine. Ooh, I don't think we found a book here before, did we? <clears throat> this one has several words. Book. Many stories, but all stories, but not all stories, are true. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Stories, stories, true. Ah. Uh, book tells many, but I see. I had assumed that not all would be two words, and thus I was putting in all and would get not out at the end. Not all stories are true. Hmm. Yeah, so that's from the Library of the Loop, which is interesting. So we've had a hang on. We've had a warning that the dead tell lies. And then the, the the Garden of the Dead is telling us that the Library of the Loop tells lies. Hmm. There are niches in all of these markers. They're empty. Looted or left that way? Uh, we've got 
put one over here. This one's one smooth. And we've got a big one in the middle of a fountain. Which feels significant, and yet has no interactable, clickable things. That's curious. What's up, Six? What have you seen? Six? He's gone. Hi there. Oh, is this the one with stuff on it? This one seems to be made of older stone than the others. Stone is indeed different. Older from a different source. Where is it from? Cannot be 100% certain. But if you had to guess... Old stone is from Elbereth. Interesting. As I said, not 100%, but 96.5 is not so far from 100. Oh my god, 6, that's so close to 100%, you did not need to make it sound so funky. Perhaps Elbra Stone was as cheap as its labour. Hmm. It is strange it's the only Elbra Stone. The other stones are from the local stone, as might be expected. Summing up here. A hoop of metal. I wonder if there was once one of these on top of the shrine we found on the last Emperor's hideout. Mistress, please put that down. What's so special about it? You cannot see that, Mistress. What kind of archaeologist are you? What are you talking about now? It's a bit of robot! It's a bit of robot, Alia! You don't understand what you're holding. So what is it? Delicate. Just put it down. Uh, I'm not just going to leave it here. It's valuable and important, Six. And worth some further study. Kevl says you can put it back to be nice to Six, and get it back after Six explains it to you. Ah, oh, okay. That's nice to know. This way he's angry. Oh, sorry. Well, I was worried about having being forced to leave it behind, you know. Because in a, in a sensible game, yeah, sure, I could put it down and then come back to it. But oftentimes in this game, you can't come back to something. Let's we'll speak for those who have no voice. What is this thing? Is this some kind of recording device? i sure I've seen something like this before somewhere. I might be able to trace where it's from. Perhaps there were metal hoops on all of these shrines. They might have been looted if they're valuable. Oh, okay, now I can't put it down. Yeah, Six, honestly, you could have just told me. Like, there's no point being hissy with me if you're not going to actually tell me stuff. Unclear, mistress. We may be able to locate its origin. Oh, hello. Well, spring up there, apparently. Where does all the water go? Into the nebula, mistress. Into the rivers. Everywhere. Stone marker. How about this one? Ah, the inscription on this one is readable. Amazing. This one is a fact piece from an even longer phrase. Brightest star light cannot something the dark. Cannot go dark. There we go. Brightest light cannot go dark. 
I've got a good feeling about that. Fantastic. Four, oh god. Seems careless. Um, I don't really want to answer any of those, to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't like any of those options. Broken steps. They don't look very safe anymore. Three... Oh no. Alia, please. Oh dear. Stop talking. Nothing on this one. Okay. And then we've got these stairs, which we know takes us to... Do you have a sense of what this place was from Exploration's Mistress? Some kind of garden. Chesco, stop being mean to the robot. I know! I know! Stop antagonizing him! You've acquired five promising artifacts. We also pinpointed one new location at your sales site. Not just yet. We have more to do. This one's set apart from the others, and it's inscribed. Do do do. Broken fragment from a longer phrase. Well, this is one of the ones where the symbol I really want is there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, here. Well. Sail. Again? No, okay. Apparently not. Okay, I will sail again. It's finished. A sailor's motto? It sounds more like the words of a child. Does it sound like the words of a child? I'm not sure it does, but okay. Oh my gosh, I forgot how bad... ...this staircase really was. Jesus. Take your time, Estress. Oh, we've got big old zoomy out dramatic view. This location is extremely unsafe. Good to know, good to know. Oh, I'm in bloody slow choky walk mode. Mistress, please. I was sort of hoping you'd let me interact with these statues. He wanted to grab you by the waist and chuck you down that lift. Oh good. That's what I wanted. Emperor's Master City, gazing across the nebula, tracing every stream like the lines on a palm. I see Albereth! Can you? I can't see anything. <laughs> Albereth again. I have to be believing the first Emperor was born there. I mean, do we know that he wasn't? Do you have a point to make six? Me, mistress? Don't me, mistress, no, mistress, me, six. Stone markers. These two seem in better condition than those below. Stone hasn't worn so much up here. <laughs> oh, Gleeb Jeebus! That scared me. <laughs> I did, I did actually jump in my seat then. Um, <laughs> as you've discovered experimentally, this shrine is indeed powered. <laughs> They're machines. No, mistress. These stones are many stones. This one is charged. Aligned magnetic radiation, mistress. Similar to that which aligns and conveys the rivers. The shrine outside the hermitage on the moon near Maezi. It was just like these, I suppose. Just like these, it had run out of power. Seems likely, mistress. The best fall from inside the figurine six. That must have been part of how the hermitage shrine worked. 
It was giving me the option to insert it a long time ago, but uh, that's the second marker. Brace. Okay, no electric shocks. <laughs> Quite powerless. I wish you'd stop saying evidently the whole time about things that are definitely not evident six. Right, metal hoop. Slump of rock is charged, the hoop suddenly fits. In s Ooh, hello. The hip doesn't seem to do anything. Just because there used to be a third one there. Oh! That's a good point, Shaskal. Well noticed. I totally did not twig that at all, but you're right. There's an empty slot there. Huh. I wish I could interact with the empty slot. There's a long way to fall. Yeah, there is a long way to fall. You're right. Um, thanks for the warning. Oh, for God's sake, Alia, you could have just been nice for once. I thought you were going to be nice. You said thanks for the one. And I was like, oh, amazing. Insert the Rebesque foil. Here we go. And. Wait for it. Spooky ghost time. By the goddess and her imposters. Have, have I been asleep? Spoke the voice of a child. Um, friend of yours, Six? Of course not, mistress. But why are you so rude? You don't know who I am? Uh, no. I should have you killed for that. Okay. Just tell me who you are. My name is Kaya. I can't see you, it's so very dark. Why can't I see you? Where am I? Um... This place is a temple. Are you saying I've been kidnapped? My brother will hear of this. I can't... I can't feel my legs. Tell me where you think you are, Kaya. The orangery, of course. Where is Alpha? She screamed. Uh, the orangery? I don't really have enough time to make these decisions, which is annoying. Above the withering palace, of course. The power is failing, mistress. You must ask what you want to ask. I am asking what I want to ask. What is the withering palace? Where is it? Palace of Mechanicals. You would not understand. Have... Have I been asleep? Oh, it's gone. Okay, well... I don't know if we could have got more answers out of that! Poor Kaya. Whoever she was. I, that's not the button I wanted to push. I wonder what Huang would make of her. What was that thing I just spoke to? A recording, presumably. Much Professor Mayari might send you a recording of herself to converse with. Recordings are responsive, as you know, but fixed in manner. They are broad, but not deep. That is their nature. Are you like that, Six? Broad, but not deep. Rude, Alia! I am as I appear, mistress. You have a brain, don't you? You like to pretend you do. I don't understand robot minds, mistress, despite being equipped with one. Master Ember once described a robot as a mirror. Its reflection will vary as it is shifted, yet the mirror contains nothing. Who do you think she was? The ghost in the shrine. I will not speculate, but I can't imagine most people were recorded in this way. So the ghost was royalty. At least. Okay. So I can see sent a message careful, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna finish the dialogue first. I guess almost three hundred and fifty years. She's been stuck inside the figurine all that time. She's not stuck anywhere, mistress. 
It's merely a recording. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Going to the voice of a dead emperor. Yes, okay. Old emperors to advise new ones. The immortality of a kind. Right, careful says. You get her name, that she's the Empress Sister, her info on the Withering Palace at best. Okay. The guns here are quite remarkable. Graves are surprisingly simple. And the great tombs are more Leon's. Oh my god, you've got so much to say, Alia, blimey! The Empress believe in the loop? Uh perhaps this whole moon is their monument. Okay, are you finished? My god. Okay, careful. You can get her name. She's the Emperor's sister, her info on the Living Palace. So, did we get basically everything we can then? It feels like we did. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong buttons today. I'm really fat fingered. I was trying to go for question, and I got one instead. I could take this thing back to Elbrath and show Oroi. She might be able to explain what it is. Kef says almost except that about her brother. Oh, okay. I guess you mentioned her brother, but we didn't actually get confirmation that her brother was the Emperor. Alright. Okay, question. How did an Empress end up inside a Maezian figure in the middle of nowhere? Someone died out there. I feel like that wasn't Emperor, was it? Didn't we already work out that it was? He had the crown and everything. Alia, you're slow sometimes, dear. Okay. I think... Is the Emperor hiding on the hideout moon? They brought the shrine the foil with them. They hid the foil inside the figurine. Kai must have been important to him. If the last Emperor was truly intending to hide for the range of his life... Well... I have said that most humans do not wish to be alone. I wonder who she was. Who she really was. The Emperor took Kaya to the ruined moon and hid her. It wasn't Remba who hid the foil at all. We didn't even find it. Remba really was a terrible archaeologist. He wasn't trying to be an archaeologist, Alia. We also don't think he found the crown, like, either. Oh, we've got two options here. Just don't look down. Do not jump. Uh... So that's why we found the Wuthering Palace. It's not from Iox. Where is it from? The text is near the paper and binding is old. The pages have been scraped to provide a new surface upon which the Maswai has been written. Why are we having this conversation now, Six? Of all things. Right, the binding and the paper comes from somewhere ancient. I guess the Library of the Loop? And then Maswai was written on top of it. Okay, back down we go. Truly, a most fortuitous find. Are you ready to go yet, Mistress? Uh, I think I am. I don't think there's anything more here. Let's get out of here. Be ready, mistress. We're gonna ping. Oh, gosh, that was... Tent. <laughs> Trying to get everything out of that as quickly as possible, but I think we mostly managed. We did all right. Sapped by an ancient shrine 20 minutes ago. Spoke to a ghost 10 minutes ago. Kevl says, let's hit Elbreth, I'm hopeful. I am also hopeful. I think Elbreth is a good shout for next destination. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Aboard the Nightingale, right. A curious place, mistress. Really? All, all of that and the only thing you can comment is on the water. Really, Alia? Really? We could ship it. You would be very rich. We could make Elbreth bloom. Maybe I could tell someone about the place. That whole moon six. 
must have once been filled with voices like Kaya's. A head atop every shrine, all talking. Arguing, laughing. The place was a haven. Butterflies? Gabba? You lost me there, Six. Pins to a board, still flapping. Imagine the place as it died. They beg each other for help. Oh my god, Six. You're not wrong, but blimey. Uh, I wonder where Paddles is today. I feel like I haven't seen Paddles yet. Where's our little gecko buddy? Butterflies, angry face, very metal. You're not wrong, Ethel. Okay, no paddles today. It's, uh, it's an unpaddles day. Sailing. I'll prepare the chocks, mistress. Okay, dunk. Uh. Oh, but it's good. I love having so many different places that we could possibly go to. Oh! The Ancient Market Moon! That's the Age of Sail site that we pinpointed. Okay, that's nice. We're not going there yet, but uh... My friend the Mechanist Ori lives in the Citadel. Ori might be able to tell me what the metal hoop I found is. She might also be able to help with the Withering Palace secrets. Okay. To Elbereth. Back home once more. Sailing to Elbreth and Eagle's Pass. Oh, 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 god. Jesus, game. You really set me off right on the, <laughs> the wrong track there. Uh, the Holy Empire was founded on the belief in rebirth. Ostensibly. They believed in the loop. Ostensibly. Graveyards were unnecessary. Perhaps the Empress did not believe in the loop. Or well, maybe they just wanted to hedge their bets. Humans I have observed are fickle. Either path, you say. Oh yeah, there's not really very much difference between them, is there? However, I should definitely pick the path without the rocks in it. don't feel like we've actually really learned anything that we didn't know before. Like, she told us she was in the Withering Palace. I don't know how she ended up being turned into a Robesque Foil. Did she get Withering Palaced? Did that happen to her? If so, why? She was just a child. Take this thing to tap me. Oh. I wonder what that's from then. Interesting. Oh! We've also got our first lead on the uh the thingy moon. The make your own river moon. We should go left, mistress. Right you are six. Well, left you are I guess six, but Fast bit. Do love a fast bit. And we presumably aren't that far now.
Jacob says, very good question. Why would she be in the Withering Palace? Like, I, I can think of possible explanations for why you might do that to a child. Maybe she was sick and dying anyway. Maybe... What? How did I miss a turning? Oh, is this the, the wonky way into Elbreath that it doesn't like me taking? Uh, yeah, maybe she was sick and dying. Maybe he fled and thought that withering palacing her was the only way to take her with him. Careful says, we can see it was more of a nice destination with more water and without the sandstorm stuff. So I think she was just there together with the Emperor. I guess maybe. Hmm. She doesn't seem like a very nice person, it must be said, considering that her first thing was like, I should have you killed for not knowing who I am. Had that path and a library and meeting room and stuff. True. Six. Did Myra mean what she said about you? That you were Rembers robot before? Is that true? I do not remember him. But it seems that my memories are not mine to control. Oh, hello. Thank you, random citizen. I guess. <clears throat> the stone of feet. None of the other statues we've seen have had feet. This is an excellent point. Maybe it was a person. We, we addressed this last time, and we never found out whose feet they were. Uh, although I'm vaguely wondering if I'm actually allowed to show them on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what else, I need a drink because I can feel my throat starting to go, so I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, poor Six. He's getting sensory overload from the slums. And Alia is completely, like, unhelpful about it. God damn it, Alia. Oh dear. Uh. Seska says, maybe they're your feet from the last loop. Did the audio just cut out? Oh, I, I thought I said I was going on mute. Sorry, I maybe didn't. I was intending to. Uh, how's your ethical core like that idea? Does not. <laughs> Well, six. There we go. Giant Alia statue. Oh god. There are worse things to have a statue of, but... Not many. <laughs> Alright. Out you go, six. Okie doke. Good more. Uh... You once told me there were seven gods in the ancient pantheon. I found six. Did I tell you that? I was probably making it up. I'm sure you did. I think I was told by my grandmother that seven was the lucky number for the ancients. Or six and one, as she said it. Uh, let's find about this word Malifar. All the time. It means falling over from too much racky. I can't imagine anyone ever said it to you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you're too good to me, Timor. Please, Timor. I'm never going to marry you. Oh gosh, not this again. No, you won't. That's why I ask. Um. I don't really want to answer any of these. Careful says, we can see him Elbreth was the seed of the very first revolution against the serpent god and the mechanicals. Can we assume that? Can we assume that? Uh, my assumption is they built a human statue to celebrate their humanness. That would make sense given the first thing, I just haven't had any inclination of the first thing. I guess we have to do the father answer. Oh! Alia, please! Oh. Oh. 
I don't want any of these. I don't like this conversation. I wish I had never pushed the remark button. Um, Kelf says, obviously no other god has feet, no other god is human. Is this your idea of a joke? No, I'm quite serious. I want to help you. You do help me, you always have. You don't need to marry me to be my friend. You're an orphan, I cannot adopt you. I could claim to be your father, but ladies in grey know I am not. But when I die, my children are gone. They want no part of what I have. I want to leave it to someone who deserves it. Leave what? This bar? I don't want your bar, Timor. No. Of course not. This bar is nothing, really. Just a shop front and some barrels. I don't understand. I respect you, Alia, I do. Please do understand that. You've always known your own heart. Most of us have to see it broken before we know its shape. What the... Is this about how... I'm still a bit confused, to be honest. Uh... Keffel says, we had a nice pretty painting described to us by Six at the end of the game about them killing the god. Oh, he's got stuff for us. Thanks, Timor. I guess it was a yellowing chart of the nebula. Ancient times. It has been marked. Fantastic. Did they kill the god on Elbereth, though? I, I, I had not made that connection, but maybe I'm being unusually thick. Alright, we've got words, though. Words I can generally just about deal with. You will find... Uh... Uh? Way. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure I can do this one. Ah, that's lucky. You'll find... So this is the place not to, or possibly the place from, source. Uh, you will find source of nice way? I don't like any of these, to be honest. Adjective, not this. Cold? You'll find source of cold way? I'll look at it again later. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Um, I think this comes from the same source as the book. This should make the side of the ancient library of the loop easier to find. Thanks, Timor. Alright. Now, drink up. Sir, yes sir. Glug. Glug. Another one. Fill her up. You should relax more. I definitely shouldn't push buttons when I don't know what they're going to lead to. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Alright. Thanks, Timor. For the thanks for the racket, Timor. Hi, Six. Oh, you look very sad having to stand outside. Cheska says, from what I can tell, he wants to marry us a platonic arrangement. Yeah, he he basically wants me to inherit, but I don't think he wants me to inherit the bar. I think he wants me to inherit his like shady side business that ends up popping a child on a different moon. But like, we never, he never tells us about that side of things, so I'm not sure how he expects us to know that that's what he wants. It's just people failing to communicate. Oh, not this again. He must have sailed with him for a time. 
That's why you remember things sometimes. I do not remember him or what he did. I cannot be sure what I have done. It is most unsettling. True, Six. True. Kepler says I want his crime syndicate. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, Mayari's got interesting motives. Approach the gate. Do -do -do. Speak to the gate. Set by Akira Far. Divanya. Because we are now carrying 16 swords, <laughs> so uh, we don't want to go the normal way. Thing. <laughs> Careful says, I didn't quite understand why he can't adopt us. Because Mayari already did? That convo was actually new to me. Oh, okay. I also don't understand why he can't adopt us, to be honest, but uh. I didn't think Mayari had actually adopted us, adopted us. I sort of thought she just took us away. But it's... I don't really understand what's going on with Timor. I think he, like, steals food from the robots, but I'm really, really not sure. Hi there, Tappy. Uh, I want to show you an artifact. Uh, this chart. The yellowing chart of the nebula, dating from the earliest days. I could obtain three of those on the street corner. I think I collect silver and crystal historical things. Oh my god, Tappy. Okay, well, how about this? Cup. An Iron Age of Sail period cup. Tappy, are you going to be rude about everything I show you? My god, my guy. My god. <laughs> now then. An effigy carved from crystal. Looks like it's inscribed. Give me words, lots of words. That's your sole purpose in life, Tappy. Oh god, okay. We've got sleep again. Sleep. Peace till the day is done. Uh, it's an old world, it's a new world, it's a bold world. For me? Uh, sleep in peace, my friend. Or. Boop. Sleep in peace, my friend. Done. This comes from the same side as the cup and the sextant. Must have been frequent travel between the two locations. This will make the Age of Sail site easy to locate. Fantastic news. Uh, Kefal says, there's a rare chance if you find a mechanical device that's also ancient and nice, he's just straight up happy. <laughs> that sounds so unlike him. Alright. Sure, Tappy. Sure. Listen, I'm here to show you stuff and get words. Uh, let's try the amulet. He's more likely to like the amulet, I think. Interesting. I've seen something so beautiful only once before. Look, see, like he likes the amulet. Put that thing away. This one's too good to muddy with business. Interesting. Oh, ah, it's the uh, the globe thing. Look at this glass thing. It's enormous. I don't even know what it is. I found it just sitting in the grass by the cactus gate like a fat lost cat. Here, I thought maybe it was a child's toy. Who could make something so beautiful for a child? It moves. It's uh, an orrery. 
You'll rotate, you push one, and everything rotates. Hmm. I'd rather you didn't break it. You want me to find out where it came from? What a good idea. It's so unusual, I don't know who I'd find to trade it with anyway. Maybe if you find where it came from, you could let me know. Showing this thing to Ori, to my mother. None of them understand the way we do. You're a star, I'm in a thousand sparks. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, happy. What the hell does this setting want with an orrery? Um, I'll show you the scratch telescope. I didn't think moons worked like that in this setting. <laughs> right, he's got something to show us. Here we are. A serpent sculpture carved from crystal. With words. I love words. This one is a broken fragment from an even longer phrase. Okay. This could be never, or this could be is not with just a loose symbol on the front. Uh in your heart. Never be something in your heart? Certain. Sure, okay. Certain in your heart. Curious. Has this comes from the same source as the knife and the lamp. So people often travel to both these two places. This should make the Steel Empire site easy to find. Sculpture for your scratch golden telescope. Uh, no thanks. Okay, look. There. If there's more, let me look another time. You literally always say this. And I'm going to show you something else anyway. Uh, let's try the sculpture. I don't think he's going to like the sculpture either. Oh, it's a silver sculpture. He might like that. You spoil me. Something of a similar period, I think. Doopity-doo. Ornate wooden cooking pan. Look at the carvings. Someone took time over this. Something etched on it. A phrase run together. May this place be warm. Hmm. Okay, if that's warm, then maybe I was wrong with cold way before, but maybe I wasn't? I'm really not sure. May this place be warm. By the stars, that was a long one. Comes from the same site as the effigy and the spherical device. The Age of Sail site, easy to find. Can pan off your dentist or sculpture? No thanks. Do. Right, okay, we've got. We actually have a chance to show quite a lot of artifacts today, it seems. Uh, okay, I guess we'll show them the book. It's an ancient heavy book. It's possible. No matter, I could probably shift it on some. And in return, we've got annotated river map. It's been painted on. Oh, I do love a good river map. Several words. We've got the full phrase here, which is nice.
dancer is. I don't know if I can actually do this one. We've got quite a lot of quite a lot of words here that I I don't think I can do. Uh, no, that's this is part of something joined. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're just going to shove stuff in until it kicks me out. Don't know enough to decode this. Yeah. Of thing, body, thing, are, they, are here. I might trade this one and see if we can get Huang to take a look at it. People must have company frequented both these two sites. This will make the size of the ancient library of the loop easy to locate. So you see it, the map for your heavy book. Oh, but the book says don't trust the library of the loop. Hmm. I'm gonna agree to the trade. I think this looks rather good here. I kind of wish I'd shown that to Huang first, actually. There's more, let me look another time when my eyes have it covered. I can ask you another question. Where do you get your stuff from? Got artifacts back there that the Ayox curators would kill for, including the one I've just given you. Do they ever let you out of that orphanage you grew up in now? I only used I used to work for Timor. In his bar? That's just changing one prison for another. You should look around Elbra sometime. Really look. I think Elbreth used to be important to the Empire. Much more than it is now. Elbreth used to be the seat of power. The cat kiss itself is a fortified city, it's right there in the name. You know enough patois, don't you? I know no patois! What does it mean? Poor sorry Ioxium means place of kings. Kekis was the original palace of the Empire. Okay, maybe you were right. Careful. Aren't <laughs> we all just living like kings? Uh, not really. If you go to any kitchen here, you'll find a 300 year old ladle or a salt pot with ancient on the base. Everyone looks at Elbreth like it's a rubbish dump, but you find all manner of things in a rubbish dump. Uh, I can't imagine you digging in a rubbish dump. It's true. I have people who gladly do digging for me, so I don't stand in the way of their happiness. I can ask another question. Uh, so where on Elbreth is good for artifacts? He's not going to tell me. <laughs> I want to understand the history, Taffy. I don't much care about the things. Most of my little finds are sourced from the old town. You don't have to dig far in any patch of wasteland but you'll find something. Sure, it's worth this rubbish until you polish it. When you go wrong, you think people care about how old something is, they don't, so they only care about how fragile it is. How easily it might have been broken or lost. People like delicate, fragile lovers and delicate, fragile things. Right. It's a seller's market. Okay. Thanks, Tappy. I wish I could go to the old town. I don't even know where the old town is, to be honest. I'd love to just go digging and find a bajillion artifacts. Alright, come on, Robit. Shall we leave now, mistress? I want to pay a visit to Ori. She's actually why we're here. Everything else has just been a distraction. <laughs> and off we go, off we go. Rambo must have tried a word of Elvarethian when working with six. 
perhaps by chance he was from Elbreth, maybe he jabbed his thumb with a screwdriver and swore. Seems remarkable this had not been discovered before. I think this is about how he discovered the command word Sleeset. Presumably. Alright. Right. We're gonna bong, and then we're going to wait. Do do do. But alright. Come on, Arai. Don't make me strike the gong twice, you know I will. There we are. Boop. Alia. What could I do for you? Uh, tell her about the hopper in the Deus of Gods. I want to tell you something. Ask your advice about something. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> Come on, it's fine. Just hear me out. We found an ancient hopper. Are you hoping to sell it to me earlier? Because I don't want it. Uh, Six remembered something about the hopper. Something from before. Six has been there before. Six says the hopper doesn't send bodies. Six thought the hopper was used to record people. I want to see if it was true. To record people. I suppose that might be possible. If you've got the eye to ignore the physical matrix entirely. Uh. Right, exactly. <laughs> Sounds like you have no idea what you're talking about, Alia. Nothing unusual about that, except you normally hide it better. So where is it, this hopper? Kefal's got an oh no. Um, I assume that means it's not going to work. I'm terrified. I've never sailed before, you know that. Uh, six will keep us safe. I'll keep you safe, mistress. Mistress or I will come second. I love robots, they're so honest. Um... So you'll come? Yes! Let's do it, right now before I change my mind. Okay, we made it! Oh, thank goodness for that. I was worried that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> okay, let's go and learn how spooky ghosts get made. <laughs> oh, we, we, left, we left the ghost of Alia behind, that's not good. We got her! We did got her! Amazing! Fantastic work, us! Go me! I just liked Ori's oh no. Oh yeah, that's a good... Uh, it was a good oh no. It was a well-timed oh no. Alia. Yeah? I had no idea. The sky. Do you remember the first time we launched it? Not really. How do you forget something like that? How do you do it now? Six, shall we show her how it moves? Mistresses. Thank you for this, mistresses. Oh. Oh, he's happy about this, I guess. He's not going to be happy about what we do to him, but he's happy about this now. <laughs> okay, off to the Withering Palace. We've got 40 minutes. We can probably do this in 40 minutes. Kev says, don't skip the sailing, or Roy's commentary is gold. No, I wasn't planning to. I I, I love hearing the in the sailing dialogue. Do -do -do. Uh, which way is the longer way? Left. Do -do -do. Right. Okay, this is a big bit of river, but it's apparently a slow bit of river, which isn't ideal. 
Not that... Oh, I've never left the surface of Elbereth before. That's booked me in like she that. she was trying to look brave, <laughs> but she was not letting go of the ropes. Uh, turn right here. Is it far? It's like middlingly far. It's further than Iox. Just look out the porthole if you don't feel well. I feel like looking out the porthole won't help, considering that our boat does, like, that angle sometimes. It's like being on a plane. Pretty. Pretty mess. So, here's a question. Previously, when I went out of my way, to go to, like, somewhere like, let's say, the Age of Sail site. When I ended up there, when I, when, I, when I ended up on this bit of river, it just, like, forced me to land even though I wasn't actually going to that destination. Can I... Could I theoretically force myself to do that with Oroi? Or will they have cut off all of the side roads that go that way, so that I can't access them? Hmm. Hmm. They probably cut them off. I'm kind of intrigued to find out, but it would take a long time of sailing. Because it would have to be one I've not been to before. And I guess the closest one out of those is the Steel Empire site. Although the Age of Sail site isn't far out off the path in terms of actually getting there. It's just getting back is a bit of a pain. Hmm. You know what? I'll 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 see I'll see if some of these roads roads down here exist. I'll see if they're there. I guess the easiest place to do it is going to be to turn off here and go that way. I should take you to Renaki sometime. There was a cute girl reading books there. You'd like it. <laughs> I don't trust your taste, Alia. Oh, what's wrong with my taste? Apart from everything that I ever do in this game somehow. Big river as it goes past Iox. Shasko says, bluish headwear plus yellowish tunic. She looks like an IKEA employee. <laughs> yeah. I obviously haven't spent enough time in IKEA. Our path turns left shortly, and so, so should we. Yes, I agree, Six. Okay, we're turning left here. Again, and then in theory, there should be uh, a right turn that we do want to take, and then 
if we can go down to the market, there'll be a left turn. But I'm guessing that that left turn is going to take us off somewhere like over there, and it doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, so we can't do that, so that's fine. It was good for us to check, because it would have been funny to kidnap, kidnap all right to somewhere that we weren't supposed to be taking her. <clears throat> Not that I'm a bad friend or anything. Oh look, and there's another cut-off left turn that we can't take, see? Hmm. Ah well. It is objectively better that we don't kidnap Oroi. I just wanted to... I would have loved to see what would happen if we had. We haven't had much Oroi dialogue, I will say. Slow bit. Uh, either route ahead, sure. Which is the best one? Doesn't really seem to mind. As long as we go through the middle, we take the shortest route. Dip. Quang told me something in the Chronicles of Maswai. It was an old poem about sailing the fiery path. I wonder if this is what it meant, this spray in the water. Hmm. Huh. It's certainly not fiery, mistress. But it might be fiery if you used rocket propellants to navigate through it because it was so slow. Then it would be a fiery path. We're on the bit that has the crazy loop in it. Whoop -de -doo. You are six. Okay. But it does sort of feel like the river should barely be supporting us here. It feels like we ought to fall through. I know that's not exactly how gravity works in this setting. Not that I'm sure how gravity does work in this setting. But you know, it... It doesn't feel supportive. Question. Are we sailing around in circles? Maybe slightly. Sparkles appear to be settled by our passing, mistress. We are sweeping them away as we sail, which I guess is why we can't come back here too many times, because we just actually destroyed the river. Hopper us down, Six. Alright, here we go with our good friend Aura. We've got about half an hour with which to burn Six's 
brain out, possibly, maybe, and also have a poke around a, a little sort of dark hole. This is the place Kai mentioned, but why would anyone build a palace out here? I feel like, in a way, this is almost the optimal way to do this, because if there's anything from here that helps the garden, we get it. But if there's anything from the garden that helps here, we've now done that and come back. Horrible. Uh, it's It was called the Withering Palace. It might have been fine once. The last wing didn't always blow dust and sand. Creepy alley, that's what it is. Yeah, it is. This gate doesn't open, but there's a way around. Follow me. So many books. A library of a terrible kind. Don't like the sound of that. What's upstairs? Anything good? <laughs> Your friend is very eager, mistress. Yeah, she should come with me more often. What did you expect? I don't know. A couple of skeletons with their hands locked around each other's throats. Oh, I can't give her a reply to that? Okay. Right, let's have another quick look around everywhere. Elf says Ori is great. Ori is great. So who are all these lots? Emperors? There's one that's got no arms. That's the Serpent God. A what? Who worships a serpent? Don't have enough eyes either. How many eyes should they have, alright? If I built a god, I'd give them lots of eyes. Maybe some magnetic hands. You'd build a robot is what you'd build, alright? I think that Ori should be the star of the sequel. Oh, can I not go upstairs? I have magnetic hands, mistress! <laughs> oh, Ori, don't please don't upset the robot. I do enough of that on my own. Oh. This is a sketch of the altar hopper source. Whatever it was for, it must have been important. Oh, it's good. I didn't notice that before. I have another nosy round just in case there's anything else I can click on. Right. This way. And then in this room. Doo -doo -doo. Is there anything here that I can click? Clickety click. Oh, I can't go up these stairs. Hey, Aura, you ever seen a mural like this? No? Okay, fine. I know I can't go out that way. Okay. Oh, find me. Camera turned around. Camera's having a real unhappiness. Nice piece of work. View six, I suppose. Maybe actually. We don't know. We still don't know where Ember got six from. Gotten here first time by climbing across the roof. It's just like when we were girls. <laughs> she was always terrible at climbing. <laughs> Quiet out here, no wind. I don't know, I can hear wind in my headphones. Okay, now there's no wind. Okay, now there's wind again. She's gone off to have a look at the things already. That's fine and dandy. I'm going to see if I can go jump down the hole. That's okay with you. Oh, maybe I can't jump down the hole. Oh no, I may have missed my chance to go down the hole. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible news. Just because there's eyes, I wanted to add more eyes. <laughs> oh dear. Right, what are we getting at? What are we getting at? Hey there. Just got with Ori make. She has a packet of googly eyes in her pocket. Jessica says, "Would Ori make a giant mecha given the chance?" I imagine so. Spinning pen. No 
Clear cut off from some parts. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh well. Never mind. That one open like this. Can it open? Looks like it. This is a normal hopper, right? Except it's been. It's emboweled. It's a hack. I quite love it. <laughs> um. So what does it do? No idea. I only just got here. Give me a minute. Uh -huh. Six remembers this place. From before it was buried. I think the hopper here did something to the robots here. Seems unlikely a hopper's like a mirror. Either it reflects or it's shattered and it doesn't. It can't change what it reflects. Uh, six of the hopper wasn't storing bodies. You what? No, you mean there's no physical refraction. You're sure, Six? Quite sure, Mr. Sora, and your capture is enabled. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see what I can figure out. And you can stop watching me. Okay, I'll stop watching you. Kevin says, so, I know you like Six, Dizzy. But do not ask Ori to undo what happens, let it happen. Okay. Gotcha. Noted. Uh, there are several suggestive elements. And there's something else. Lined up? Yeah. There's that one. There's that bit. I'm going to go take a look at this hole. That you won't let me go down, because you're mean. Passing right through the center of this space. Interesting. It's a hopper source. So the beam comes out of here, strikes whatever it strikes, and carries it across to the eye. Alia, why did you bring me to this horrible place? There's some kind of method of execution. Well, you are correct, Mistress Oroi. I believe there's more to it than that. Please look again. Six, could you go stand in the middle of the space? Between the hopper source and the eye, Mistress Oroi? Yes. Uh huh. Don't worry, Six. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> no, she does not, but I believe I find that acceptable in this case, Mistress. So this hopper doesn't refract the physical stuff back, but suppose the dynamics still came through intact. I'm now stuck and I can't move. That's not good. Like the way some people got themselves messages, maybe Six was used to capture someone and that's what it's remembering. Capture someone. If you've got questions, Alia, ask them. Don't just repeat things back in- oh, for God's sake, alright. Um... So you're going to do what? Open six up? Like you did to three? Something like that, apparently. The good thing about hoppers is they're physical. Each the time they're used, they entangle with what's already there, they get a bit scratched. Like the way a ship leaves a wake in the water. So if this thing hasn't been used too much, we might be able to recover a few stray images. Uh. <laughs> Hoppers shave bits off you? Question mark. Why didn't no one tell me this? It's more like an after image, but whatever. The point is, between six and four and the entanglements in the eye, we might be able to get a few interesting resonances. Keffel says, <laughs> someone to outsass Alia. <laughs> what happens to me, Mistress Alright? I have no idea. Ready? Do it. Already done. I don't exactly know what Oroi did, but the effect oh. on the robot was impressive. He's got hair now. You. You're in charge here? Oh my god, that looks terrifying. Uh. Oroi, what's happening? A refraction. Oh, I've. So you are in charge. This is the Withering Palace. You won't imprison me again. You can't. 
Ah, so I see it is still here. Still working. Okay. My followers worked for months to uncover the secret of this device. They can see me now, the glorious result. Who are you? You don't know who I am? Has so much time passed since I ascended? Uh, tell us what you remember. I remember everything. I am not a child. Show your respect. You have a ship? Uh, no. We're stranded here. I don't know why I can lie, but let's try lying. Yes, I rather think you are, since it seems I control the hopper to the nightingale. There are layers inside here, layers upon layers. Layers of what? Do not think you will understand. It takes many lifetimes to understand the true depth of a soul. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this is the robot's fault, to be honest. You declared yourself a goddess. You wiped away the ancient religions. Do you know what they believed? Before I burned all the books, before I rewrote their tongue? Superstition. Seditious superstition. What did the ancients believe? What were their gods? I believe in the pantheon of seven. Six gods out among the moons. And one the seventh waiting. Okay. Waiting where? In a tomb. On the edge of the nebula. Waiting to take the people to liberation. These people were primitives. But tell me of my world. I am not uncaring. Has the darkness has the darkness swept across the nebula? Is all lost? Uh What darkness? No. And the danger itself was buried? The fools. Tell me about the darkness. Darkness is coming. Only the vault can turn it back. Okay. Heaven's vault. Roll credits. Is this the vault that Remba's ghost was talking about? The robots around the Empire knew, but they did nothing. What could they have done? Nothing. Okay, good. The ethical cause are statistical. The robots believe the darkness is necessary, even though the darkness will kill us all. Gotcha, right. That is why they all had to end. So are you the first Empress? You should be pleased. You'll have the honor of escorting an Empress back to her throne. Ah, uh, yeah, she leaves the beam of the hopper source. Empress, please stay where you are. Okay. Uh, she leaves the signal. She'll stay like this. There is a ship here. Follow me. NK does not wait, Alia. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, we've got some choices to make. We've got, I like her, can you turn her off? Or of all the robots to end up with? And you said, don't ask Oroi to turn her off. So, I guess we're saying I like her. I'm not sure that's true. Come, or I will depart without you. It's too late anyway. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Nothing down there now. Okay. Are you always this slow, Alia? She can't turn her off anymore. Okay, well. Something certainly just happened. Uh, <laughs> uh I'm also, my, my footsteps have been hijacked, so I'm, I might not be able to do anything else here. Okay, you do not want to be left behind. Be ready, Ali Alazra. Uh, Kev says, I'm not sure why Oro knows that she's called NK, even though she didn't tell us her name. Oh, whoops, is that her name then? <laughs> right, well! Kev says, welcome NK, best character in the game. Okay, well that's interesting. I, this is not what I expected at all. 
I was not expecting six to be permanently hijacked. <laughs> I guess bye bye six. All of that being nice to the robot was for nothing. Aura is with me. She wants to go home. I'm not sure if the Empress is going to let her. <laughs> um... This is your ship. Do you not clean it? Uh, my robot cleaned them. You should be grateful your defective robot is gone. But it seems watertight at least. So I would use a hopper. Hoppers are short range only. Yours are, perhaps. Now we sail for Iox. Oh yeah, I want to go home. I don't know how you stand these dead moons. Um... You could come with me. No, I couldn't. That's fair. Okay, alright. I'm sorry, alright. I didn't want to upset you. You don't even know what the problem is, do you? No! You see, Dusk of Books sent to Jazz what the story was. Yeah, that's good! I want to go somewhere busy. Okay, alright. Just says we won't get six back, but it's worth it. Okay, right, well. I mean, I'm super glad, in a way, because, like, this is something completely new I didn't get on the first playthrough. Okay. Alright, wants to go. At least it's not forcing me to choose between Iox and Elbreath. That wouldn't be good. I wouldn't want to make that choice. And either annoy the Empress or annoy Ori. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell is going on now? I mean, I'm, I'm in very new territory, but at least this lady sounds like she sort of knows what's going on. So my quest to, to know what's going on is... I refuse to sit down on Elbreath. Well, that's not good. This place is repulsive. Rude! Uh, wait, hang on. The implication, I think, is that she sees it all, thinks the dead people who owned it and how they're dead. Oh, okay. Jessica asks, is the Empress eating paddles? Oh, I didn't look for paddles. <laughs> She'd hate the BN. Maybe she would, Boom Boom. Maybe she would. Every other site plays out very differently with NK and her knowledge, which is why I was pushing this early. Oh, I'm sad I didn't get to go to the, the graveyard with her, then. That is a real shame. I wonder what the earliest you can get to the Withering Palace is. Hmm. It's my home, NK. Wow, okay. This is even worse than 6 about Elbreth normally. Jesus. She doesn't call me mistress anymore, she calls me Alia now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Sure, I guess. Oh, I felt the strong implication that Alright is like. Other believers on Iox who thinks Ali is wasting her time with stupid stuff. Maybe. I really don't. I really genuinely. I know you're supposed to not like the Lupists, but I really genuinely don't like the Lupists. Right, so what places did we go? We went to the launch pad, we went to the graveyard, we can go back to the dig site. Ah, oh, okay. This, this is a real shame. Though we did get to see more things with, with NK, but it's okay, I guess. 
She's like, I need to go back to do an actual job and have a life you can keep cruising around. Oh my god, she's calling me wretch now. Lady, you are still just a robot, you know. But also, she says her followers built this place, which kind of suggests that she's the first Empress? Which surprises me, because I sort of thought lots of people were withering over the years here. Unplug her battery. I would sorely like to! Okay, let's turn left. Like Empress, or former Empress or not, she's gonna have to just like calm it down a bit and be nice to people. Ooh, that's a pretty shot. I don't think we've had that shot before. I mean, presumably, seeing as she doesn't have like proper hands or anything. If I told Ori to just, like, take her apart, there's nothing she could do to stop Ori. Move the file, put the child's file instead. I don't know if that works! I would like to see if it did work! Either branch, I'll oh, yeah, use this place. Although, it's not like Kaya was a particularly nice person either, to be honest. says she also does have to respect her ethical core and her primary user she's like a psychopathic megalomaniac trapped inside the body of a toddler <laughs> it does sound hilarious <laughs> oh my gosh right uh well we'll be home soon I do wish we'd had her for some of the other sites. I would like, I would have liked to know more about what's going on with the launchpad site. And I'm sure she would have had great dialogue for the graveyard. There's so many, like, looping possible different ways to get to Elbrath, Jesus. All rivers lead to Elbrath. Well, I thought, I was under the impression that all rivers lead to Iok. Although I'm not sure the map really represents that. That's how all the wretchedness piles up, I guess. <laughs> Boom says, this sort of thing is one of the many reasons why I don't drive. I mean, mood? Okay, so even though she said she wasn't going to settle down. Set us down. She has, in fact, set us down. <laughs> I could show the metal hoop to Aura. I could have done that on the boat, Alia! You could have shown her the hoop on the boat! Her highness is refusing to come down. I have friends here, Ori. Like you, 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 you. Thanks for the ride. Well, thanks for the help. Question mark. Um. Robots have off switches, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Can I sleaze at her? I'd love to sleaze at her. That would be hilarious fun. Can you imagine how badly she'd take that? That would be hilarious. Alright, do the slums. Did 
visit Le Bar. Alia. I'm slightly worried about taking her back to Iox, to be honest, in that I'm worried it might be some sort of like horrible heresy that I've committed. That wouldn't be good. Hi there, Timor. Uh, I found a moon, pouring in water. Water cascading down the mountain, water in rivers. Water bubbling in fountains. This is like paradise. It blooming was. It was a graveyard. Water that comes from the dead is not for drinking, Alia, apparently. But I didn't know about this kind of thing. Um, they should make a post for you at the university. <laughs> So there was water for the taking, was there? If there was any way to take it. Every problem is an opportunity, just every stranger is a friend you haven't met yet. Where was it? In Ghost's Wake. You don't sail, do you? Me? I have a bar to run. Uh, Shasko says, heresy is no problem. Unless your name is Horus. Gelf <laughs> says you'll have the choice of ratting her out to Mayari. Your call, Bridge 8412. <laughs> Poor Alia. So can she. So I have the choice of not ratting her out to Mayari. Interesting. Oh, yay, goodies. I love goodies. It's some kind of a heavy hammer. It's been deep fried in batter. Oh, it's got no words on it? Timor, you disappoint me. You know I love my free stuff to have words on it. I also like how she says the knife I found here. I don't find any artifacts here. I get given artifacts here. For free by people. Right, let's glug. You want another one? Yeah, I'm sure it'll upset the Empress, but yeah. Glug and glug. Alright, we don't need to walk straight to get where I'm going. We teleport most of the way. Doodly do, doodly do. I can't find the door. There we go. See ya, Timor. Don't be a stranger. I mean, I'm gonna rat her out, because this is ostensibly my toady playthrough. Well, I've got the toady to Mayari, not to the NK or whatever the hell her name is. But, if I rat her out, is that gonna mean I don't get her? Because you said she's the best character in the game and very helpful. I suppose I, I shouldn't really ask that. Um, that probably is spoiler territory. Set Boyaki Rafar. Kvenya. <laughs> dramatic escape sequence ensues. I don't think you can do a dramatic escape sequence in the way this game works. We walk at, like, snail's pace to begin with. Just means more tension. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's so weird going to these places on my own. I'm so not used to having the robot. Doom says it'd have to be a stealthy escape. Oh god, can you imagine stealth mechanics in this game? That would be a disaster. Hi, Tappy! I want to show you an artifact. We're not going to use him of stealing. Uh, I've just found this hammer. It was it was given to me by Timor. He might even have got it from you. Who knows? There's nothing special about that. In a decent condition. Take it to Renaki. They'll buy anything there. Okay. Uh, I've got a bit of paper. Didn't you give me this? Not even I could shift that. Well, you could you could on me. Uh, 
uh, fragment of a pennant. Mouldering fragment of a pennant. You really know how to sell these kind of things. Oh, he might be able to shift it, apparently. Not seen anything quite like that. Okay. Body offering. Give me things with words. A silver compass? For a flag? This comes to this point towards Iot. This one doesn't. Out there somewhere. There's carved symbols. Okay, I'm definitely making this trade. This is a great trade. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of a fragment of text. Okay. <laughs> it's just because there's like a mold collector here. <laughs> Once a month, really eccentric. Um, follow. I assume this is going to be like us? Or. Maybe. Hmm, we'll find out. Uh, we follow something. Uh, what's this? This is action, place of thing you go. Maybe turn? I quite like turn. There's only... I suppose technically actually these three could all be verbs, but this is the only one that's a proper verb verb. Rivers turn through nebula, and we follow them. Sure. This comes from the same source as the map and the chart. This will make the site of the ancient library of the loop easy to locate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> I'll be sorry to sell this on when the time comes. What, the mouldy flag? You'll be sorry to sell that on? Give me, will keep me in business for a week. <laughs> oh, Tappy. Oh, Tappy. Sometimes <laughs> your dialogue isn't that funny. Oh, I can eat for a week off of this moldy pedant, but only if I eat mushrooms. Let's go say hi to Ori. Have a little wait. I assume I can speak to her. I don't actually know. But it said I should show her the thing. Hello. Hi there. Alia, what can I do for you? Uh, the robot still won't land on her breath. I'll show her the hoop. I found a strange metal hoop. A hologram came out of it. Let me see. I recognised it immediately, of course. The neck hoop from a robot. Won't do anything without a core. Need something to project. Last thing I noticed is it's badly made. Robot's a beautifully delicately crafted machine. This is an Empire period coffee copy. Uh, the robot still won't land. Have you learned anything from her? I think my eye is going to be furious. Oh dear. Why? They gave you the robot. You didn't ask for it. <laughs> uh, how's the shop? Not getting any better. Alright. Toodles, I'll tell them that you said hi, I guess. Oh, I can't teleport back! 
because I've got no robot. I have to walk back like a scrub. What's this? What's this? Don't be dealing with this. Uh, all right. Well, this is actually where, as soon as I get back on the boat, this is where we're gonna leave it for today. Um, because we're a little bit past three, and we've sort of done our, our robot shenanigans. We've we've been to the ghosts. We've got our own now pet ghost, uh, which is very exciting, I suppose. Uh, I was definitely not expecting that. I was expecting like another Kaya type encounter where I'd get sort of some fragments that I could ask a couple of questions. This is crazy. Um, but all right, yes. Yeah, so I want to say a big thank you as always to everyone for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed and you're here with me on Twitch, uh, do please remember to drop a follow if you haven't already. Uh, alternatively, as always, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, you can drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. YouTube has my whole first run through of Heaven's Vault on it, where I didn't do any of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> which is why I'm very surprised as everything happens. Uh, but it also has everything else that I do, like ongoing Pokemon and uh, Call of the Wild and other stuff I've done in the past. Other than that, you can find me on Twitter at this for demise, on Mastodon at elvich.cafe slash at this for demise. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at noon, which might be the last Thursday noontime stream for a while, because that slot may end up moving to evening time on Thursday, which will be exciting and new. Uh, tomorrow it will be a game. I don't know what game. It might be Kerbal Space Program 2. I think there has been an update since the last time we played. It might be something else. It could even be more Hitman, who knows. Uh, but until then, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra. Bye now. <laughs>